Hello there everyone, and a very warm welcome to the Jazz Bus Train Plane Lift Adventures YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a virtual tour of Swanage High Street. Now unfortunately we can't do it at the moment in the flesh, due to the fact we're in winter at the moment, and also due to the current situation which is the Covid pandemic. So I am going to review you a uh, Swanage High Street, so let's go. So the first place we come to is an estate agent's, Miles and Son. And then of course you've got Melody, which is like a shoe shop. Uh, there are so many independent shops in Swanage, so you've got uh, Pearl and Lace and Aurora, and of course you've got Day Lewis uh, Pharmacy. Now the next shop we come to, it's a bigger uh, shop and this is Budgeons. Now Budgeons, uh, before if you go back to 2009, used to be known as Summerfields. Now as you know, Summerfields has merged with the co-op and basically there's already a co-op in Swanage, but I'll show you that uh, later on. So Budgeons took over the Summerfields here in Swanage. It would have been interesting if they turned it into like maybe a little Sainsbury's or Asda, but however... Budgeons has taken it over. So, as you know, Budgeons is one kind of supermarket uh, and just sells grocery stuff, etc. Anyway, the next shop we come to is Nixon's Home Hardware, which is basically a little home base B&Q, you name it. And this, before, if we go back to year 2009, this used to be Woolworths, but however, Woolworths uh stop trading in the year 2008 uh towards the end of 2008 uh when the company went down uh so as you can see Woolworths is uh became empty uh in 2009 and now it's branded as nixon's home hardware which also sells beach stuff outside because this is a seaside town as well anyway the next shop we come to is of course any state agents. Anyway, we're now going to go up this side street and um, buy the estate agents because this goes into a corner. Of course, we've got a little independent shop called Bruins, uh, Bruins and Merman Place, uh, which is like a barber shop, etc. Uh, used to be the old Nixon's hardware before they moved into the former uh, Woolworths because they moved because due to the fact they needed a bigger size shop anyway let's move back so the next place we come to is barclays bank well it used to be barclays bank uh, it's now closed and then of course you've got macro uh, macro and son estate a jewelry shop and then of course we've got greg's and uh, greg's before used to be the perfect press it used to be like a gift shop it used to sell loads of gifts like puzzles etc and so now that's been turned into Greg's and uh, so there's the old sign of Macro and Son. And then, of course, we've got a little barber shop and hairdressers. But uh, so it's now called the Canine Academy. Uh, and then you've got Goadsby, which is uh, yeah, another estate agent. And then next door is, of course, the Landmark, which is quality shoes. Now, if we go back before... Uh, it was cool. Yeah, there's that's their original sign. And here we have Subway. Well, Subway no longer exists. It's now called the Health Station, uh, which is right here. So it's now called the Health Station for healthy eating. So anyway, we've got Harry Ramsden's here, which is within the amusement centre. Before it used to be just uh, a company, uh, an independent uh restaurant called the fun world cafe so here we are the the, the amusement center called the family entertainment center um, so anyway here we are on the opposite side so this is the maulam center the maulam uh which has a theater a cinema and a little shopping precinct we've got swanage vols uh swanage all sports there of course we've got 40s ice cream parlor and of course the lounge bar as well and uh, and so these were all souvenir stuff. So it used to be like 
independent shop. So it's so as you know, there's a lot of independents around Swanage. Uh, I know there was one company called Sue's Cards and Gifts as well. So we've got a Cornish bakery here. So if you go back years ago, that used to be a restaurant. And then, of course, we've got the, col the restaurant. And this is the Colour Centre. The Colour Centre is now branded as the Pervic Plumbing and Heating Supplies. It's now a plumbing centre. And the next shop we come to is Wimpy, a fast food restaurant. Uh, Wimpy has been trading in Swanage for many years now. A lot of the Wimpy stores had closed However, this Wimpy has survived. Uh, one of the last remaining Wimpies of all time. And here is um, an estate agent. So, it used to be, so the estate agents used to also have the Alliance Leicester as well. Then next door to that, we have uh, personalities. And if you look before, it used to be called Vivienne's. And then, of course, got Helping Hands. And Helping Hands is now the new Sue's Cards business. And then next to that is like Swanage's uh, best quality shop, uh, Leonard's. Uh, now, Leonard's has been trading in Swanage for many years now. I, I refer to that as like a little Swanage department store, but it's not actually, but it's not a department store. It's actually uh, a gift shop. So, Leonard's is one business that's still trading. And, of course, we've got... Pepina, uh, which used to be HSPC, the bank. Of course, we've got Oxfam, which is a charity shop. And then, of course, we've got Togs. And uh, then Togs became the Amber Bay. And then, of course, we've got Betfred, the betting shop. Uh, oh, gosh, there's so many betting shops around uh, the UK. And, of course, we've got the next shop. Uh, became used to be a toy shop, Cloud9. And it's now called Going for Bust, Fighty, uh, which is like a charity shop. And then we've got Surprise in Store. That's a popular name. And, so, and of course, got the Fish Place as well. And there's the museum right there. And another shop. And here used to be New Look. Uh, it's, now, it's now known as Regatta Outdoors. Uh, but, however, they've recently vacated the site. Um... And then, of course, got a few more shops. So a lot of these are all independent. We won't be able to review you all of them because due to the fact they're just independent. And, of course, there's that popular touristy place. There's so many uh, shops. So I won't be able to do it all together due to the fact uh, that there's not many to look at. So, anyway, there's the Curiosity Shop, which is the popular branch, and then the... Lifeboat Institute and the Coastal Cottages. So we're not going to review you all the shops. So we'll return to where Martins is. So there's the there's that popular toy shop. It's been there for years. Of course, Surfari. That's been there for many many years. Anyway, we'll start at McCall's. So anyway, this is McCall's. It used to be known as Martins, and there's Ladbrokes as well, which is another betting shop. Of course, we've got Boots. Now you get to see many boot stores around the coast. And, of course, we've got WH Smiths. Now, this used to be a QS and a BYs years ago. And we've got Salt Pig. And, oh, so many independent shops. Of course, the travel agents, Hayes Travel, uh, which recently also bought Thomas Cook out as well. The, um, that uh, airline that went bust and travel agent that went bust in 2019. And also a bank nationwide, of course, the Swanage Bookshop. So there's a lot of these independents. I won't be able to review them all. And here's the news agent. So anyway, back at the railway station at Swanage. And there's Hallmark there. And if we go around here, uh, just round the corner, and here's the co-op here in Swanage. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Look after yourselves and just to let you know, we've now reached 700 subscribers.